you know, when I heard about this place is going to be closed, it was just, of all the things that have changed, this was the first one that to me felt personal. You know, I started doing the Lonely Planet Guide in 1981, and I just thought the place was amazing. I think it was the first overnight train trip I'd ever taken anywhere. People are going long distances. It's just, it is the place. It's, the, it's where it all happens. Suppose you're taking a train just for sightseeing purposes. Having that train leave and arrive at Hua Lampong would just add so much ambience, let's say atmosphere, nostalgia, romance, and all of that. It's funny, I tell people I take the train, and they're like, what? Why don't you just fly? It's so much faster. And I say, well, I don't have to go to the airport. I don't have to go to all these x-ray machines. And uh, you, know, you just feel like a criminal going to the airport all the time. I just you know, constantly being checked. And I love the train. You go to the train station, just get on the train. And it feels like a nostalgic way to travel. I love the sound, you know. And I, I think people who like travel, train travel, that's, they're into all that stuff. All the arcane details about train travel and the actual the movement and the sound. And, some people say they can't sleep on the train. I sleep like a baby. I just, it just rocks me to sleep. Yeah, so after the uh, Italian architects designed it, it was constructed, opened in 1916. What do they call it? Neo Palladian, I think, is the architecture. And I, I really hope they preserve the station because uh, they shouldn't lose this. Absolutely, this is the busiest station in South Asia. There's nothing that comes close. It's been such a hub for tourists. Average, up until two years ago, average 60,000 passengers a day going, arriving or leaving here. Yeah, the thing about coming to a station like this, if you're an international visitor, is that you immediately feel like you're in Thailand. It's not just some homogenized, modern building. It has a cultural legacy. It feels cultural. And uh, yeah, the new station is the, just uh, glass and steel square box, multi-level, that could be in Europe or anywhere. Not much of a Thai experience, really. Not like what you can have here, so it's a bit sad.